Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? For fast and cheap coins, check out redzonecoins.com and use code ZERK for 15% off your order. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Zerks coming at you today with another YouTube video and today I'm going to be going over the master cards that we do have coming out tomorrow. Now guys, these are going to be dropping at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time in the morning. So I am very, very excited about this. Now, of course, you guys can expect to see a video from me in the morning going over these players, going over the rest of the cards as well. We only have the two master cards revealed for today, but you guys do know we are going to be getting a new Julio Jones. I believe he's going to be the LTD. We also have some other players like Minka Fitzpatrick and a couple other players as well. Now, I do want to give a shout out to Awoken Myth for being a part of the Nodi Gang. If you guys want a chance to be shout out in the next video, drop a like in the bid, make sure you guys are subbed to the channel, turn the notification bell on, and comment down below. Nodi Gang, now not only am I going to be going over these guys' stats, but I also want to talk to you guys a little bit about the market and maybe some things that we may see tomorrow. But let's get right into it. You guys can see we do have Miles Garrett, which by the way, I'm going to do a little comparison here uh, between Garrett and another right end, and same thing with Zeke. But you guys can see Garrett, 79 speed, 84 acceleration, 89 strength, 91 power move, 85 block jet, and 87 play rack. So let's take a look at Miles Garrett compared to what I believe to be the best right in the game currently with Justin Smith. But I just want to say this, Miles Garrett is obviously one of the best runners in the game. Also, he automatically comes with abilities, with one of those abilities being, you can see it right there, edge threat so instantly he is absolutely amazing uh but if we take a look at his speed and acceleration miles garrett has got 79 speed and 84 acceleration compared to justin smith who has also got 79 speed but he has 85 acceleration now in terms of strength justin smith does have 89 with 88 block shed compared to the block shed of only 85 with 89 strength but the difference is here 91 power move on miles garrett compared to only 88 on justin smith so the thing is right now with my team i personally am running uh, aaron donald at right end but i feel like right now there's not really like a crazy left end in the game and i feel like miles garrett for me is going to be a pretty good left end i definitely plan on throwing him in there the thing is though with garrett being over 90 power move a lot of people are running completely locked down in their defense like i am as well just to get the zone and the man boost because i feel like pass rush is just so non-existent that you don't even really care to go with say a pass rush uh chemistry on your defensive line so justin smith for me anyways powered up to get 89 power move but wanting to be over 90 there because i'm I'm not going to put pass rush on him with Garrett at least he's already over 90 so if there is some sort of threshold there at over 90 power move to get like better pass rush Garrett definitely has got it if it is 90 but he has 91 power move and you guys already know I am super excited about this one and of course I'm going to drop some gameplay for you guys tomorrow with Ezekiel Elliott now in terms of his abilities you guys can see right there it looks like he does come equipped with freight train for his x factor which is awesome it also looks like he has reach for it which I think is probably the one ability that you should be using on your running backs it's the only ability I actually use on my Warwick Dunn, which is who I'm going to pair Ezekiel Elliott to uh, but he also has closer not a fan of that it's whatever uh, and then jukebox which again pretty good so he has 87 speed 88 acceleration 89 agility 88 carrying 85 change of direction 83 trucking and 84 break tackle so the question i've been getting asked is is zeke going to be better than dunn so let's take a look at this you guys can see ezekiel elliott 87 speed 88 acceleration obviously warwick dunn here one more speed and one more acceleration over him now dunn does have 89 change of direction with an 86 break tackle so change of direction also goes to dunn break tackle also goes to done now in terms of agility and carrying we're looking at 89 and 88 compared to agility of 89 with a carrying of 89 now of course the only really big difference between done and zeke here is gonna be the 53 trucking on work done and you can see the trucking here is an 83 the only issue is that like yes it's uh, it's definitely like more for zeke but 83 trucking is not like Derrick Henry truck you over type running back, you know? So as good as the trucking is on Zeke, I really don't think him that makes him that much better. Obviously, makes him a like you can actually truck with him. So it does make him better than Dunn in that category, but he's not gonna be the guy you're gonna want to try and truck a safety with or truck a linebacker with. So to me, even as a Cowboys fan, and it hurts to say, uh, I will be picking up Zeke. I probably will be powering him up, but he will not be my starter aside from the gameplay. 
So there was Zeke and there's Miles Garrett. Looks to be, you know, two of the better players in the game without a doubt. Now here's Julio Jones' 86 overall card, guys. We don't know exactly what his 89 overall is going to look like necessarily, but I think it's going to be pretty good. I honestly think that Julio Jones is probably going to be the best wide receiver in the game when he does come out. Now, they didn't they didn't choose to reveal him, which I think is a little bit interesting. They also didn't reveal any of the other lower overall set cards. But obviously, we know of a couple more players because the power-up thing uh, with their card arts, right? So let's go ahead and take a look right now. Now, as I always tell you guys, when it comes to any investments that you've made to sell off hype. Now, I don't think that Zeke and Miles Garrett are a great investment, obviously, because here's the issue with them. Now that the superstar MVPs have actually came out, we know this power-ups are in the sets. So if you do, you know, the Zeke Master Set, it's going to give you a Zeke power-up, more than likely if it's the same as last week with Honey Badger and also Lamar Jackson. That's why I was able to sell off all my players that I invested in, like, I think 20 or 30 minutes before Lamar Jackson actually came out, I sold all my powers for like 25K. And then as soon as this set came out, they all crashed down. Now, earlier today, I pulled a Miles Garrett power up. Now, if we go ahead and take a look here, you guys can see Miles Garrett, now that it's out on Twitter, now that more people currently know about it, let's take a look and see what is it currently going for. I sold mine for 33K, I want to say, and you can see. He's about 35,000 coins. He really hasn't changed much. Now, if Miles Garrett was a much, much cheaper power-up, I think it would have been getting bought up like crazy. But you can see, it kind of looks like maybe he was getting bought up as there are only nine Miles Garrett power-ups up on the auction block. So tomorrow, I definitely think he's going to be a lot, lot cheaper. If you got Miles Garrett for a much cheaper price, right now, players might be trying to buy him without knowing that he's going to be getting a power-up in his master set tomorrow. I definitely recommend that you guys sell now, to be honest. Uh, and if we also take a look at Ezekiel Elliott, you guys can see right now, Zeke power-ups are 43,000 coins, okay? They're not going to be 43k tomorrow. There is no chance if that master set does give a power up like Lamar Jackson and like Honey Badger, Zeke power ups are not going to be 43,000 coins. But she was a lot, lot cheaper a couple of weeks ago, and I told you guys it was a good investment. I invested, I think I sold off all mine for. 35k earlier this week i saw he was at and i knew obviously when the mass sets come out there's gonna be an influx of zeke power-ups and you don't want to mess around with that so now if we take a look at the set you guys can see right here not only do players like the masters get powered ups as well lamar jackson tyron matthew but we also had the other players get power ups. so tyler lockett tradavius white mike mcglintry uh mcglinchy Preston Smith, all of these players get power-ups. So we know that Minka Fitzpatrick is coming out tomorrow. We know that Ezekiel Elliott is coming out tomorrow. We know that Julio Jones is going to be an LTD. A lot of people have been asking me about Julio Jones' cards. What's going to happen with his price? Well, if you take a look at Gronk, his price never really changed because the issue is he's so expensive, not many people can really pick him up. So not many people are going to be buying his power-ups. So his power-ups never really changed in price. We'll just kind of have to see how many people open up packs, how expensive Julio is going to be. But if we take a look right now at Ezekiel Elliott's core leads, now I think that obviously it's a little bit different this week because people know of this card. But this is something you guys can kind of plan ahead and do is obviously people knew Zeke was going to be getting this upgrade. He's 85,000 coins. Now the sets don't give you a free Zeke, right? So this card is going to be expensive. It's going to be very, very expensive. If you happen to have any 85 over all Ezekiel Elliott's would you sell right now as I always say take a profit when you can because you never know how many people are actually going to want this Zeke card when he comes out tomorrow maybe people look at the card they go eh, he's not better than work done I don't really want him right if he was undoubtedly the best running back of the game I would say probably do not sell and to hold on to him because as more people get sets done they're going to want to power him up and then they're going to have to go out and buy that you guys can all see Miles Garrett now he was actually 90,000 coins earlier today he is now up to 100,000 coins now as you saw with those players, right, they're rising up because people revealed them. If we take a look at, say, Mika Fitzpatrick's, basically, because we don't know the stats yet on his next upgrade. I believe it's going to be an 86 overall. We know the stats, but you can see his base leads up to 26K because people already had a jump on it. So just to show you, this is kind of the thing I've been getting asked a lot about. You know, when is the best time to sell these investment players? It's when everyone's hyped up about the cards. When they reveal the cards, like Zeke, like Julio Jones, whatever, Miles Garrett, that's the best time to really sell because you can see that Mega Fitzpatrick now is 26,000 coins because people know he's coming out even though they didn't reveal it. Some people now are catching up to things and saying, oh, Mega Fitzpatrick's getting an upgrade. So now would be the time to sell with certain promos. So I just want to let you guys know that just to showcase for you guys the market for any investments that you may have made in like Russell Wilson, Patrick Peterson, Michael Thomas, whoever you made investments in uh, in terms of power-ups or even some base elites. 
just so you know. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to drop a like on the video, and of course hit that sub button down below. I'll see you guys next time.